Hello everyone, greetings. Today we are moving to the first section that is mentoring class self-confidence. So moving on to the section. This is our contact information. Kindly contact us. So about self-confidence. Self-confidence. The lack of self-confidence is not believing yourself. You may miss the biggest opportunity because of low confidence. Though you may have all the talent and skills. So this presentation is a few ways to boost your confidence level. Moving on to the section. Identify your strength. Any of your strength. Let it be anything. No matter what it is. Identify it and be proud of it. Each and every one of us have unique skill. The only thing we have to do is get rid of your laziness and identify that. So your skill confidence level automatically increases stay positive many of them lack confidence because of their appearance voice or bad incidents or movements forget it all stay positive count all your blessings best example of staying positive is nick Wojcik. he is a motivational speaker born with rare syndrome which is characterized by absence of all four limbs Still, he says that I am happy. In one of his speech, he said that if I can, even you can. So, stay positive, your confidence level increases. Next, spread happiness. When you spread happiness to others, even your confidence increases. As you feel yourself superior, be kind, help others, also spread confidence in others as well. That means appreciate others in each and every good step of others. Even your confidence level increases. Love yourself. The main reason of low confidence level is, as I said in the first slide, not believing yourself. Start loving yourself. Consider each and every moment as a precious and enjoy each and every moment. Celebrate each and every moment. Start loving yourself. Don't consider anyone as a superior to you and even don't consider anyone as inferior to you so start loving yourself be an assertive nature your confidence level increases learn new skills and talents apart from the skills or talents which you already have learn something new which help you to improve your confidence try to always upskills your talent the best way to do that is uh, just join some training or coaching so you will learn something new and your confidence level also increases. By the way, your knowledge, your potential, everything will also in increases. Handle criticism. Many of us become low or down or pull yourself down by listening too much to the others. Others words are that much effective towards you. So handle the criticism. You can handle criticism in two ways. If it is a healthy criticism, listen to it. Consider that criticism to improve yourself. Take it as a positive sense. Else, if it is unproductive criticism, just ignore it. That's it. I would like to illustrate with one short story which I got through forward message long back sent by my dad through mail. So I would like to convey that to you. This is the story which I will go through a forward message. The story is about the tiny frogs. There once was a bunch of tiny frogs who arranged a running competition. The goal was to reach the top of a very high tower. A big crowd had gathered around the tower to see the race and cheer on the contestants. The race began. Honestly, no one in the crowd really believed that the tiny frogs would reach the top of the tower. You heard statements such as, oh, way too difficult. They will never make it to the top. The contestants are passing some comments or not a chance that they will succeed. The tower is too high. The tiny frogs began collapsing one by one. Listening to the audience, they started collapsing. 
except for those who in a fresh tempo were climbing higher and higher. The crowd continued to yell, it's too difficult, no one will make it. More tiny frogs got tired and gave up, but one continued higher and higher and higher. This one wouldn't give up. At the end, everyone else had given up climbing the tower. Except for the one tiny frog who after a big effort was the only one who reached the top. Then all of other tiny frogs naturally wanted to know how this one frog managed to do it. And a contestant asked the tiny frog how the one who succeeded had found the strength to reach the goal. Here is the twist. It turned out it didn't speak of, it just went off because that the winner was deaf. The wisdom of this story is never listen to other people's, tenden others people's tendency to be negative or pessimistic because they take your most wonderful dreams and wishes away from you, the ones you have in your heart. Always think of the power which words have because everything you hear and read will affect your actions. Therefore, always be positive and above all, be deaf when people tell you that you can not fulfill your dreams. Always think I can do this. So this is the message. The message says that sometimes you should be deaf and dumb also to achieve your success or to achieve your target and dreams. Next, overcome your fear. Fear makes you to push you back from doing things. Overcome it. Practice to get rid of your fear. There are few techniques like speaking in front of mirror to remove your fear. When you are going to interview and all, it's better to speak in front of me mirror so you, you can overcome your fear. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.